Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be prepping for back to school. I feel like right now is the perfect time because I feel like some people go back to school in August or September. Some of you could be in high school or like seniors starting college. If you want a college advice video, just let me know. But I feel like today's video is going to apply to both high school and college students. But yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, for a book bag. I don't know how people can carry tote bags. I feel like one, that's probably horrible for your posture. And two, how do you walk straight? I feel like if I had a tote bag, I'd be like leaning. I personally like North Faces. This is mine. It's kind of big and it's pretty like expandable. Like if I want to add a lot of things to it. It also has a space to put your laptop. And the back is kind of hard. And I feel like there has to be a purpose for it. I feel like it has to do with like straightening your posture it has pockets on the side that are big enough that i can put like my water bottle in it also has a bunch of pockets so like here i would put like my snacks and then here i have a bunch of stuff in it but basically this is where i would put like my pencils i feel like pockets are essential so that's why i really like this backpack also i've had it for like four years now so i feel like they're really durable but i also include a couple of book bags that i like since we're talking about book bags i really recommend everyone to have like a little bag like an emergency bag this is not my emergency bag i literally have jewelry in here but if i had an emergency bag it would look something like this so things i would always want to have in my book bag are gum a phone charger chapstick a little wallet or like a card hold extra hair ties and extra headphones i feel like if my regular airpods die i like to have the string headphones in case i need it or want to like silence everyone out i can just put the headphones on and then of course a phone charger laptops if you're in high school your school will probably give you a laptop but if you're in college i feel like you should try Choose a laptop depending on your major and your budget so for me i majored in engineering so i needed a laptop that had a lot of capacity and the laptop i chose was a microsoft surface book the reason i liked it is because it had a lot of storage it was touch screen i could flip it and fold it kind of into like an ipad or like a digital notepad so i can like edit on it i couldn't just use a macbook because i don't know i feel like macbooks are weird when it comes to downloading certain softwares that like you have to download attachments so that wasn't the best laptop for me but i feel like if you're an iphone person and like having your schedules like linked with your laptop and your phone or i feel like if you have a major that doesn't require you to download a bunch of like softwares on your laptop then you can go with the macbook but i feel like there's a lot of laptops out there that are really good like i feel like people just go for like microsoft or apple which of course they're good but there's a lot of other laptops out there that are also good so do your research when you're picking a laptop and try to figure out exactly what you need it for and if that laptop complies with what you're going to use it for. okay so now we're moving on to tips for preparing for the school year i feel like the main thing is fixing your sleep schedule your mentality and learning how to like manage your time properly so for fixing your sleep schedule you have to look at it like you're just not going to function the same way you would function if you had a full rest of sleep like you're just not and then you're gonna have a spiral effect like you didn't get enough sleep now you're grumpy now you're not paying attention in class because you didn't pay attention in class now when you get home you're gonna have to like review everything and this is gonna create a spiral effect your brain can't be on 24 7 or like 22 hours of the day it needs some rest some tips for fixing your sleep schedule are going to sleep early and establishing a bedtime practicing relaxation in a calm environment so making sure your room is dark playing sleep sound noises if you need to a comfy bed Reducing your screen time. If you're trying to sleep and you're scrolling on TikTok, you're stimulating your brain and it'll be harder to fall asleep. And lastly, be consistent. Our body will get used to waking up and falling asleep at a certain time if you train it. Learning how to be useful with your time. And you can do that by creating healthy habits. So that could either be creating to-do lists, being more organized, creating a morning or a night routine. Like for example, my morning routine during the school year is way different than my morning routine during the summer or during the winter months. During the school year, once my alarm goes off, I need to be out the door within like 15 minutes. I don't have time for a 15 step skincare routine because I'd rather get an extra 15 minutes of sleep. My morning routine during the school year will look something like waking up, washing my face, brushing my teeth, putting on moisturizer, skincare, putting on a quick outfit that I either had pre-planned, eating a simple breakfast, whether that be cereal or like literally like a protein bar, double checking my book bag so I know I'm not missing anything and looking at my schedule so I know exactly what I'm doing throughout the day. As for my nighttime routine, I would always make sure to make my next day's to-do list or just have an idea of what I need to do. I would make sure that my back pack has everything that i need in it so any notebooks for class a calculator water maybe any snack but i want to make sure that if i wake up late i can just grab my book bag and go okay now let's get into clothes if you have uniform you don't even have to think about your outfit so you're in luck because all you have to do is wake up grab your uniform put it on and go as opposed to spending 15 or 20 minutes looking for an outfit putting on an outfit taking it off trying on something else and now you're in a routine that you don't like how you look and you're aggravated i feel like i went through this when i went to college because in high school middle school i always wore uniform so i didn't really have to think about putting on outfits and then when i got to college I was like what do I wear? So what I recommend doing, what I usually do is that I'll set a budget for myself and I'll go shopping with intention. So I'll buy outfits that meet two criteria. Comfortable and I can rewear with multiple outfits. So for me, that would be buying a bunch of basic tees. I really like the Uniqlo tees because they hit like baby tees at a really nice length. I feel like you could wear baby tees with sweatpants, joggers, 
jeans, skirts, like you can mix and match them a lot. So I would make sure to have all these basics in my closet. So I'll make sure to have a plain white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a gray one, a brown one. Like the basic colors because you can rewear them without it looking like you rewore them. Another good basic to have is a plain white linen t-shirt because you can wear it buttoned up as a shirt or you can wear it open as if it were like a little jacket. Sweatpants, but not dingy sweatpants. We are going for sweatpants that make you look put together. Personally, I like the Ritzy ones because they don't pile and they look expensive, like for sweatpants. I can go on, so if you want me to do a separate video about this, just let me know in the comments. And the last thing I want to cover is how to limit distractions. The worst thing is when you know you can get something done in an hour, but now it's been two or three hours because you've been constantly distracted. One of the main distractions for me personally is my phone. But what I usually do is I'll go to settings and I'll turn off all the notifications on my phone. So I don't have notifications on for Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Like I would only see the notification if I open the app because I just don't need the distraction unless I want the distraction. You can also turn on different do not disturb options on your phone. Like you can limit who you want notifications from on your phone. So you can pick like a focus mode where you can limit who can notify your phone. So I can say that I only want notifications from messages coming in from like my mom, my sister, my brother. You can also turn on do not disturb and that way when someone's gonna text you, I'll tell them that your phone is on do not disturb. So hopefully if it's not important, they don't reach out or it'll get delivered on silent. Like your phone won't vibrate so it won't distract you in the moment. It's not about motivation because you can't realistically have motivation 24 seven, but you can have discipline and that will take you much further than motivation will. Plus if you learn how to manage your time effectively, you'll eventually have extra free time that you'll be able to do things that you want to do another way to limit distractions is to manage your environment so that'll be like choosing a study space where you know you'll thrive you can choose to study with your friends your classmates in the library in a cubicle in your dorm room you just have to know for yourself what works better for you like for me if i study in my bedroom my bed's right there the likelihood that i might give myself a break and go take a nap is very high if i study with my friends and we don't equally have the same amount of work to do we're gonna start talking but if I'm studying in a library with my classmates, then seeing other people work might motivate me to work as well. But yeah, that's a summary of my tips of how to get ready for the school year. If you have any video suggestions or any topics that you want me to cover, just let me know in the comments. I was thinking of doing like a college 101, how to stay motivated, back to school hairstyles. I'm thinking of doing a back to school playlist because I feel like I have a lot of tips that I can give. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you very soon. Bye.